Hi friends. Well, it's a cooking day. Why is it a cooking day? Because it's cold and wet in the Arizona desert, and cooking is fun. Speaking of cooking, um, our friend, friends, Kathy and Mike, have encouraged us to be vegans, and we're interested in that. We're still reading the book. Problem is, we have to clean out the freezer full of meat before we finish the book. But, uh, Kathy, and you'll know which Kathy you are, you've created the best cookie ever, the cherry cookies. The problem is that they're too big because we've been using the ice cream scoop to make the cookies. So yesterday, I found this for a dollar in Quartzsite. It's a smaller thing, and it says cookie dropper. And we'll make smaller cookies. Anyway, thanks for turning us on to the cherry cookies. They are uh, amazing. So what are we cooking today? Uh, did I say why we're cooking today? We're cooking because it's cold and wet. Here, take a look outside. We're cooking cabbage roll casserole. My family has been a big fan of cabbage rolls since I was a little kid. And part of our family is Lebanese, so they used to make them with grape leaves, and I think they called them yabra. I'm not sure about that. And I tried to look it up to be sure, and uh, used Google Translate to translate into what I thought would be Lebanese, which is Arabic, and uh, it translated just fine, except I couldn't read the Arabic. So, anyway, today we're going to make cabbage roll casserole because it's a whole lot easier than making cabbage rolls. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. First, we dig out the cast iron skillet. And I'm holding it with the hot pad because I already fried a hamburger for lunch. And it's hot. First, we're going to brown a pound of hamburger. And um, my formula is a formula. That would be scientific, wouldn't it? My recipe is a pound of hamburger minus one patty for lunch. And while that's browning, I'm going to chop up an onion. Actually, I'm only going to chop up half an onion, because it's a big onion. And the other half of the onion, I'm going to show you one of the best ideas for RVing stretch tight plastic food wrap you can get it at Costco you can get it at uh, Sam's and I use it not only in the RV but at home as well just for this kind of thing Easy peasy. This is browning nicely. I think I said this in my last cooking show. An RV stove doesn't get as hot as most stoves in your house. So this takes a little longer, but 
Doesn't make it any less good. Now I'm going to chop up some garlic, and I've got this little rubber thing here. Uh, I don't know where you can get one. My cousin gave it to me. And I've looked for them at different cooking places and not found any. But you put the garlic in there, and do this, voila, peeled garlic. And if you want to know how to do a pint of garlic all at the same time, you should go back and find my video that's named Garlic, where I found a whole pile of garlic in a garlic field and pickled it. Uh, maybe I'll put a card up there. I've learned another thing about garlic. Instead of chopping it up real fine, leave it in slices like that. And the reason is because if it's real fine, it cooks faster, and it burns, and gets bitter. And I'll just put that with the onion, and because I didn't chop it up fine, it'll be okay. Otherwise, you have to cook it separately, or at the end of cooking the onions. So I've got the hamburger all chopped up and browned just fine, and um, I chop it up pretty fine. That's how I do it. I like a little olive oil to cook the onions. And why do I cook them separately? Because they don't cook at the same rate, especially with an RV stove. And while the onions are cooking, I'm going to start to slice up the cabbage. <clears throat> First of all, cut the heart out. Don't use it in this recipe, but I really like those. Like me chewing. So slice this up, and when we get done, it's going to be pretty fine. That's about uh, two-thirds of a head of cabbage. I like the onions fairly brown. Uh, another thing that I like to make is French onion soup. And um, you actually have to almost burn the onions to get the best flavor. I'm going to put those with the hamburger. And now we're going to begin to steam the cabbage. Might not be quite enough water. What's Lynn doing while I'm cooking? Coloring. Coloring? Let's see what you're coloring. It's a putty tat. I can see it right there. I'm zooming in on it. Okay. It's really beautiful. It's not focusing. There we go. That's a lot of work. Oh, let me see that one. Just hold it up like that. Very nice. And let's just see you. Big smile. What color are your glasses today? Blue. So, let me ask you a question. When you're coloring, and you have to pick a color to color a flower, a bird, a cat, a whatever, 
and you have yellow glasses or blue glasses or purple glasses or green glasses, does it matter? Does it affect what color you pick? And wait, and how about <laughs> if you start a picture and then you don't finish it today and you're wearing different glasses tomorrow and you're looking for the same pencil? How's that, how does that work? I don't wear my glasses when I color. Ah. I just hadn't gotten around to taking them off yet. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping. Okay. Okay, the cabbage is steamed and translucent to my satisfaction, so I'm dumping in a 303 can of diced tomatoes. including liquid, and we're going to need even more liquid because I'm going to put a cup of rice in there in a minute. About a half a can of water. And uh, that's going to simmer for a while while I get out my spices. Okay, I have my spices. Sea salt, black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder just because I never learned how to cook without them. And now for the piece de resistance, cinnamon, a little cinnamon. That uh, may be the Lebanese influence. Aye. And my tasting spoon, because that's how I do it. I don't need it. Sea salt, some pepper, black pepper. Some garlic powder, some onion pepper, I mean onion powder, and the cinnamon, don't go heavy on the cinnamon. That might be like a quarter of a teaspoon on a shake. And now the rice, about, what's that? Third of, a cup. Third, third of a cup. Just sprinkle it in there. Uh, a friend of mine always says, go keto. Putting the carbs in there, I guess it's adios keto. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.